If you've been around photography gear, you know the name Manfrotto, and you probably associate Manfrotto with tripods or ball heads. Well, now they're in the bag business, and they've got their own complete lineup. Let's have a look at the pro bags. Hi, I'm Larry Becker. Today, I'm going to walk you through the pro line of Manfrotto camera bags. Now, there's also an enthusiast line Manfrotto calls advanced, but this review is all about those pro bags. Here's the thing about bag reviews, though. The best bag for you won't necessarily be my favorite. Buying decisions are based on functionality, the manufacturer's reputation, form factor, convenience, and capacity. So, I'll do my best to give you the details about these bags and you can pick the one based on the form factor you want and the capacity that you need. The Pro line consists of four categories and 14 total bag options. The categories are holster style, shoulder bags, backpacks, and roller bags. All of the bags in the Pro line have a rigid thermoformed face panel Manfrotto calls ExoTough. It's definitely a Pro bag characteristic and it serves several purposes like providing more protection than simple fabric, providing rigidity to help maintain its shape, and to increase the overall durability and life of the bag. I always look for something like this in a pro bag. The other thing the pro line of bags all have in common is a focus on keeping the gear in the center of the bag especially secure and protecting it from impact. There are even special dividers included for this, and Manfrotto calls it their Camera Protection System, or CPS. So here's the big topic when it comes to bag reviews, zippers. I've bought and owned several bags and over the years, if the zipper isn't great, I don't even bother with the bag. The main compartment zippers on the Pro line are great. They're heavy duty zippers with strong metal zipper pulls and the travel of the zippers is never impeded by loose fabric. The metal zipper pulls are all long enough that you'll be able to grab them easily, even with gloves on in cold weather. The secondary zippers, though, are all lighter weight zippers, and the zipper pulls are all fabric loops through a small metal ring, rather than those heavy, long metal zipper pulls I mentioned earlier. I was expecting a little bit different fabric for the side pockets where the secondary zippers are. I wish the material was a bit more heavy duty, like some other bags I've seen and carried. And that heavy duty style material that I'm talking about can be found on the main handles on each and every one of these bags. The main top handle on the holster bags, the backpacks, and the shoulder bags are all that super tough ballistic nylon type material. Ironically, the top handle on the roller bags are different material than the side handles on the very same bag, so it's hard not to notice. The dividers have a rigid core that's appropriately stiff, though there are bags on the market with even more divider rigidity. By the way, those red dividers are part of that CPS system I mentioned earlier. The lighter colors make it easier to find everything. The other essential thing that comes with every Manfrotto Pro bag is a tough custom fitted rain cover. Let's look at each of the bag lines. The holster bag line is a collection of four V-shaped bags that are top load bags with the option of a nice shoulder strap and that strap has a removable touch fastened pad piece for shoulder comfort. Given the shape of these bags, you'll mostly use them when you're shooting with one main camera body and lens, and when you don't need quick access to more gear and numerous lens changes. The shoulder strap mounts are at just the right angle, so the bag will hug your body as closely as possible. The strap won't be sticking out in order to catch on things, like when you're walking in the woods or even in a crowded room. Even the smallest of these holster bags can hold a full-size, full-frame body with a respectable lens like an 18-200 kit zoom, plus maybe a portrait lens and then some miscellaneous cables or a camera manual in the side pockets. Specifically, these bags can hold setups like this. The 20 holds a DSLR with an attached 24-70 plus a flash. The 30 holds a DSLR with a grip an attached 24 to 70 and a flash. The 40 holds a DSLR with an attached 70 to 200 and an extra lens and a flash. And the 50 holds a DSLR with a grip 
an attached 70 to 200 lens, an extra lens, and a flash. All four of the holster bags have three places to put stuff, in the main compartment or in one of the two slim side pockets. There aren't any additional interior pockets or pouches, so the interior is just divided up with those touch fastened section dividers. The holster models 20 and 40 will be the flattest against your body, and the 30 and 50 holster models extend a little bit further from your body. What that means as far as storage goes is the 20 and 30 are the same height, except the 30 is wider, by which I mean the distance from your body to the face of the bag, to also hold a battery grip. Also, the 40 and 50 are the same height, but the 50 is larger to accommodate a grip. The shoulder bags all have top access one of two different ways. You can zip the heavy-duty zipper around three of the four top edges so that you can flip it open and gain complete access to the top of the bag. Or, if you just want to quickly reach into the middle of the top of the bag, pull the top center zipper and you can reach in through that slot opening. All four sizes of these bags have a strap across the back that's intended to secure the bag to a luggage handle. The heavy-duty ExoTuff panel on the front of each of these bags unzips on the top and sides, and then it opens accordion style. This reveals little pouches like you'd find in a business bag, and all but the smallest one have an additional slot in that same compartment that runs the entire width of the bag face. This slot would be a great place for paperwork or model releases. The shoulder bags also have a zippered pocket on each side. Inside each shoulder bag, there's at least one dedicated slot for a tablet or a laptop, but where the slots are and what will fit changes as you move to larger bags. The Model 10 shoulder bag has a tablet slot inside the main compartment. The 20 has a tablet slot in the front pocket area. That's the one I said could be used for paperwork. The 30 fits an 11-inch laptop inside and a tablet in the front pocket. The 40 and 50 both fit a 13-inch laptop inside and a tablet in the front pocket. The interior laptop slot is removable in the 30, 40, and 50. These shoulder bags will hug your body in a similar way to holster bags. However, if you're going to be swapping lenses a bit more, the wider form factor and more flexible material flap lid, the top slot and reach-in access all mean that you'll be working more quickly with these bags. The 10 and the 20 are probably only one lens thick, though the 20 is wider. The 30 is deeper, but there aren't any extra dividers for more lenses. So you can think of it as a deep 20 with the extra room for an 11 inch laptop. Then the biggest two bags have dividers for packing lenses two rows deep, and they also have larger laptop slots as well. The backpack bags are my favorite form factor, and I love how they open up from the top for quick access to your main body with a lens, or they become a complete workstation on the ground when you lay it down and open it up all the way. The backpack models are a 20, a 30, and a 50. They're about the same width and appropriately narrow as compared to some other backpacks that are out there. The only real difference I could see between the 20 and the 30 is that the 30 is deeper so that you'll be able to carry additional longer zooms and a camera with a battery grip. The spec sheets say that the 20 holds a DSLR and an attached 70 to 200, three lenses, a flash, plus an extra DSLR body. The 30 holds a DSLR with grip and an attached 70 to 200 lens, three additional lenses, a flash, and an extra DSLR body. And the 50 holds a DSLR with a grip and an attached 70 to 200 lens, plus five more lenses, a flash, and an extra DSLR body. All of the backpacks have interior zippered pouches all along the inside of the main lid, so you'll have lots of space for cables and memory cards, batteries, and similar small items. All the backpacks have two outside pockets on the sides, and they all have a slot zipper along the pouch face that adds another shallow storage area. The largest model, the 50, is taller than the 20 and 30, and it has an additional fully padded removable waist belt. All three bags have four heavy duty cloth loops and special straps so that you can carry a tripod vertically on the outside of the bag. 
Let me take a second here to mention three things I really like about all three of these backpack models. They all have a full-sized zippered vertical pouch that runs the entire height of the bag, and even the smallest backpack can easily swallow up my 15-inch MacBook Pro, even though the tech specs say it can only hold a 13-inch laptop and a tablet. I love the feel and comfort of the shoulder straps and the holster style access for your main body and lens and a complete workstation when you need it. Finally, let's have a look at the two roller bag options. These are the 50 and the 70. For traveling with as much gear as you can get away with in a carry-on, these bags are great. Now, I'm not a TSA expert, but based on international travel experience, the Model 50 will more than likely meet the international carry-on size restrictions, and the 70 will work domestically in the U.S. There's an outside fabric double pocket on each case, but I wouldn't put too much in either pocket because depending on the handle that you're using, the pocket may end up on the ground under the weight of your bag. You know, I love the vertical laptop slot in all the backpacks, and these both have that slot inside the lid. And that lid also has restraining straps to hold the lid at around a 90 degree opening. And you can unclip them and flop the lid all the way open and have one of those cool on the ground workstations I mentioned. Both the 50 and the 70 are the same width and depth and only the height is a little more with the 70. They also both have a collection of zippered pouches lining the laptop slot lid. And the outside of the lid has those four fabric loops so that you can easily strap your tripod to the outside of the bag. The wheels seem to be great quality and quite durable, and there's the nice added touch of yet another ballistic nylon handle on the bottom end of the bag. So picking up your bag loaded with heavy gear from just about any angle is going to be as easy as possible. In spite of what I've listed as capacities for these bags, everybody's different, and every bag can easily be reconfigured by moving around the padded dividers. Maybe you carry one more lens and no flashes. These lists are starting guidelines, so pick a form factor you think is going to fit your shooting style. Then look at the examples that we've showed during the video and read the bag descriptions on the B&H site. You can always call an expert sales counselor toll-free at B&H to narrow your choice to the exact bag that should work for you. Personally, I want one of these backpacks to go along with the Manfrotto vest I bought at the last photography trade show I attended. For B&H and Kelby Training, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.